see that drop off there? That'd be enough of a drop off to hold a fish. Okay. So what we need to do, bounce it down and bring it in. Come on. And if they're there, trust me, they usually hit first time. So we'll just send another cast out. So all we need, nine times out of 10, you get them on the drop. Okay. Oops, narsink. Uh, nice rocky deep section. Okay. So, oh, you can see where the cows have been coming in to drink here. Oh, yep, it smells like it too. Ooh, that is deep, isn't it? Okay. Try again. It's a good thing about braid. You don't need much of a rod action to get your lures out. Right. Now that lure's coming in pretty shallow there, so what I'll do is I'll cast upstream. Right. Let it drop right down. And we'll fish the bottom of this hole. Rod tip on the bed there, the bank. That's better. Come on, buddy. Now we have got a bit of a thunderstorm today, so the barometer's dropped a bit. I don't know whether that's got anything to do with it, but you know what it's like when you don't catch fish. You'll think up of any excuse. Okay, that was a snag. No, it wasn't, that was a fish. Have a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. This is a West Australian redfin perch. Now, I've got 20 pound braid here. Okay. Now, come on, buddy. Up the bank she comes. Right. This is what we've come here for. That is an average size Warren River redfin perch.